Like with the hurricane in Texas occurred, many animals like dogs, cats, birds, horses, pigs, and many more were left behind. Something that I would like to relate to and mention is my dog, Charlie. He is a dark Jack Russell Terrier and was a stray dog before being rescued. His previous owner cut his hind leg nails, not the white part, but all the way to the pink part, and poured acid into them. His feet looked like with me. But through Lila's animal cause, located at UC Davis, Charlie was rescued and, rescued and obtained the medical attention that he needed. My oldest sister, who attends UC Davis, adopted Charlie, and it was hard for him to even use the restroom, because with the slightest pressure on his feet, it would be too unbearable for him. He spent most of his childhood crying, sleeping, and eating medicine to subside the pain. Charlie is now two years old and has grown up beautifully. He has taught me many things and has kickstarted my passion on bringing awareness and involvement on stray animals and animals in general. Just like how he greets my family members and myself with a wagging tail and excitement at the front door, you yourselves can be the sunshine to an animal suffering. You have all mastered the first step, being aware and educated. It is now upon yourselves to take it to the next step. You can donate, foster an animal, adopt an animal, help at an animal shelter, help rescue various types of animals, or even simply by spreading the word. Something that has helped me during my journey was following Instagram accounts like the Dodo and Sniff and Parkins. If you have an Instagram, make sure to check them out because they post various types of videos of different animals pushing through their hardships. They posted one video of a cat that was thrown away because she had chromosomal abnormality, or another where a dog was thrown away because she was only born with two legs. They show the message that we should adopt and not shop. They also show determination and, that, and show how many cruel individuals there are in this world that will throw away their beloved animal just because they are different or because they cannot handle the amount of work that follows. By managing our needs to live a more comfortable life, we are able to sustain a better life, not only for just us humans, but for the animals living on this planet. We should account for all the damages we have done, not only to the animals, but to their environment too. In conclusion, animals should be given five freedoms. Freedom from thirst and hunger, freedom from fear and distress, freedom from injury, pain, or disease, freedom from discomfort, and last but not least, freedom to express the normal behavior. Thank you. Thank you.